In this video, I will utilize Process Runner to automate uploading data from an Excel spreadsheet into SAP. Go ahead and bring up the Excel spreadsheet. Here's the data that I want to automatically upload. You can see here that this is for the SAP transaction CJ02, change work breakdown structure. I have two projects that also have sub-levels of project management. Notice that there, there's header data as well as line item data. The line item is going to require me to automate looping. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to bring up Process Runner. And here I'm clicking on New. I'm going to enter the transaction code CJ02. Now I'll click the Start Recording button. Here I'm prompted to log into SAP. I'm just going to bring up my uh, Excel spreadsheet in the background. Now I'll put in the project definition. Next I'll put in the WBS element. I'm going to click enter. From here I'm going to select the WBS element and I now need to position this element or whatever element the particular row of data is in. I need to, I need to always position that at the top. So I'm going to go to edit object, position. From here I'm putting in the WBS element again. I'm going to drill down on this WBS element. Here I'm taken to the basic data tab where I want to change the person responsible to person 1. Now I'll go over to the assignments tab. From here, I have the Profit Center. It's going to be 3070. And now I'm going to go to the User Fields tab. From here, I'm putting in the indication, congestive heart failure. Formulation is myoxinidine. Therapeutic area, cardiovascular, geography, UK. And then the phase, I'm going to change this to 90. And the priority, make that 120. Now the steering committee date, I'm going to change that. 10-13-2014, approval, 10-30-2014. Now I just need to go back over to my basic data tab where I still need to fill in my planning element, account, and billing elements as well too. And now that I'm done with that, I'm going to save the data. Just going to click the back button here and then go and click on save. Now that I'm done recording, from here I'm going, to, I'm going to map the various columns, make sure that the data lines up. So in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and bring up that Excel spreadsheet. So now I'm going to link that external Excel spreadsheet, which I showed to you at the beginning of the video. So by clicking this Use External Excel file that's now linked, I'm going to go back to the Mapper tab, and here we can see that Excel spreadsheet. So let's just make sure that each of the columns data are aligned properly. I have the project definition, column A, you can see that I'm going to I just basically have the uh, original field description from SAP, so I'm just going to go ahead and change that now to project definition. I'll change my other field from B, I'll change that to WBS element.
here we have WBS element level. Here we have number of the responsible person, the project manager. Profit center. Now I'm just going to speed up the video here as I enter the fields of indication, phase, formulation, priority, therapeutic area, geography, steering committee, and approval. Then for my uh, indicator, or yeah, my indicator planning element, that I'm going to map Instead of just doing a, uh, as you can see here, this is a fixed single value. So I'm going to map that for these fields. So indicator counting assignment, and then also indicator billing element. All right, now I've mapped all of my columns of data. I still need to do the looping process. And so this is going to be a starting in column C. And if you remember, we moved that object position. That was, that was this uh, detail screen here. So this is where our looping starts. And we have our end loop. And then also, I need to determine the block type. So this is going to be on a, on a blank cell in the column. The blank cell in column C is what differentiates the different block types. This is in the column C. So now I've completed the mapping. I go back over to the Home tab. I want to change my end row at approximately uh, 12 rows of data. I'm going to go ahead and do a test run. And we had no errors found. So now I'll go ahead and do a regular run of the data. And we've successfully changed both projects. Thank you for watching this video on Process Runner. Be sure to watch more of our videos to see a greater demonstration of the power and capabilities of Inawera's Process Runner.